like you loved him as Bender the Offender. Now, get ready to hate him as he threatens your sexuality in his new persona. Why am I toxic? <laughs> Hello everyone, Jack here. So it's come to this, another Bendergate video. As of yet, the standstill between John DiMaggio and Hulu slash 20th Television has not broken, unfortunately for the fans of Futurama. DiMaggio wants more money, and 20th Television doesn't want to negotiate with the demands of DiMaggio's team. Hulu expected that DiMaggio would be painted as greedy by fans of the show, but the reality is that the opposite has happened. The announcement for the third round of Futurama is overshadowed by Bendergate, and Hulu has taken it on the chin instead of taking a victory lap. Hulu was so confident that DiMaggio would lessen his terms, but the backlash online has arguably strengthened his case while making Hulu look silly for not agreeing to a contract with the man. As of right now, it appears that Hulu is trying to find a sound alike for Bender, but most voice actors aren't having it. According to the website Sci-Fi, quote, Many of his fellow voice acting veterans, like Mark Hamill, Tara Strong, Kerry Walgren, Charlie Adler agreed, with DiMaggio's sentiment to hold out for a higher salary on Twitter. James Adiolman, Gravity Falls, our cartoon president, meanwhile, confirmed the industry whispers of recasting. Quote, Everybody in the industry saw the audition notice go out two weeks ago for Bender, asking for a voice match for John DiMaggio. Seeing it, I said out loud, shove it, in my best Bender voice. I can't do a Bender voice, obviously. Which would always just be a fanboy cosplay of DiMaggio. Please be assured that I will not be auditioning for the role of fake Bender. You are one of a kind, pal. Mark Hamill, the voice of the Joker. Bad move. John DiMaggio is hugely responsible for the success of Futurama. Voice actors loved by fans are treated insanely unfairly by Hollywood. Hollywood loves making us feel replaceable and get away with paying a fraction of what on-camera celebs make. Time to close the gap. Tara Strong. We who create roles to become iconic would not be replaceable if our fellow actors would stop being ready, willing, and able to be predatory on our soul gifts. You know who you are. John DiMaggio is irreplaceable. Ask him if it's okay for you to rob him of his creation. Charlie Adler. You know, there'll be actors out there auditioning to replace John DiMaggio. I invite you to make the decision you want your fellow actors to make when it's your turn to stand for your value. Jennifer Hale. Even someone on board for the Futurama reboot arguably took a sly dig at Hulu. Quote, Futurama co-star Billy West is already on board for the new iteration of the series and probably can't badmouth the studio. With that said, he seemed to subtly show his support for DiMaggio in a treat, recalling his audition for Bender back in 1998. There's a good reason I didn't get it. Yeah, there really isn't much positive press out there for Hulu regarding the Bendergate situation. And it's a situation of their own doing. They decided that DiMaggio was replaceable. Considering that this Futurama revival will make hundreds of millions, if not billions, in merchandising for Disney, especially if DiMaggio was voiced voicing the iconic robot, it's silly to not come to an agreement with the voice actor. This is the point where Hulu is worrying about nickels and dimes when there's a gold mine to be had. It's even got to a point of interest where YouTubers are making clickbait titles for Bendergate and people are paying attention. Hulu thought that the fans were going to turn on DiMaggio, however we are rallying behind him. Just take this quote from Wired in reaction to DiMaggio's recent Twitter post about Bendergate. Quote, while every part of DiMaggio's statement reads as authentic and true, it's the line about the fans that struck me. Most fans on Twitter have been supportive of the voice actor holding out on the reboot, but that statement alludes to at least some who are perhaps bugging DiMaggio to once again be a part of their beloved show. While talking about fan entitlement would require a whole different essay, there is something else that lies just below that, fan devaluement. Generally, fandoms appreciate the work put into things they love, obviously they do, but there can be a sense, especially with big film and TV properties, that everyone is well compensated, if not overcompensated. That actors, or directors or whatever, are being petty to ask for more money. They get equated with the wealthy studios that employ them. It's a false equivalency. Their work brings joy to millions of people and makes gobs of money for these studios. They should get paid fairly for that. Obviously, Hulu is trying to push this controversy under the rug and not address it. They hope that casual audiences won't care if Bender will be replaced, and that this controversy will roll over in 2023 when the revival hits the streaming platform. Hopefully the fandom will be loud enough and push back at Hulu to pressure them to come to an agreement with DiMaggio, because we all know that both Hulu and DiMaggio want him to return. But at this point, we don't know what will ultimately happen. Hopefully Hulu comes to their senses and agrees to a contract with DiMaggio, where the voice actor is paid fairly for his work, because the sound alike will never cut it. So if anyone from Hulu or 20 Television is listening to this video, it's time to pay the man or the fans will let you hear it for a long, long time. 
But what do you think? Will 20 Television and DiMaggio come to an agreement? Will Bender actually be recast? How will longtime fans of the show look back on this controversy when the revival airs on Hulu next year? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay everyone, this is Jack turning off the TV. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you did not, then dislike it and let me know why in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Bye! Thank you.